Okay, so this is basic front kick. Watch your sympathetic tension. So you go to kick and you have that. And you pull in your hands there. Or your leg is coming up and you're losing your ground vector as you come up. So keep it as a release drill. I hit the bag, I have the intention of hitting the bag, but my mind is not going into any sort of attachment. It is being fluid, not attached. So just keep it at this pace where you can keep your form. And pay attention that you can control your landing and it's just as dynamic as the first stance. Just as dynamic. Okay? Okay, so my dynamic stance, I can try to land in it, but if I don't land in it, let's say, oh, then move the other foot so you do end up in it. It's not gymnastics where you have to land like this and you lose a point for taking a step. Okay, find your dynamic stance again. All right, because you're gonna probably have to use that now. So this is a technique, a timing technique. So he's coming to close the gap, boom, and I'm gonna throw that front kick in that sweet spot, okay? So he goes, boom, and I'll throw that press kick there. So we're gonna do it on the back, and it's a little different for the back holder. You're gonna to have to trust the foam technology. Do not shove this bag into that person. Just hold it tight, and he, I will start further out of range, and he will walk into range, boom, and I'm gonna do that same kick. So he's not gonna shove the bag at me, boom. He's just gonna let the foam technology do its job. Again, I'm not trying for power, so it's not gonna kill him. He goes, and I find that dynamic stance again. What I don't want to happen, I'm out of range, I'm jammed. I'm looking for that sweet spot. And now I'm not going backwards because I'm not up here without the ground vector. He hits the ground. Okay, now he doesn't have the bag. And we want to play with that dynamic stance. Okay, so. He goes, I have the timing drill, boom, let's do it from a, from a guard. But here he comes, right, boom, he's the kick, and he's gonna come in again, and I'm gonna help him. So sometimes your shit doesn't work. Comes back, it comes right back in. So the kick, boom, he goes, boom. So it's 
same drill. I kind of demonstrated it accidentally. We're just going to change the timing, okay? So he comes in, boom, I had the sweet spot, and I'm going into him. I'm not going to wait for him, like in the base. I'm not waiting here. And then he, okay? So, boom, boom, sweet spot, and I'm going in. So a little slower. One, boom, I'm moving in. Boom. Okay? Again, working on, on having that dynamic stance, okay? So he comes in, I work on the sweet spot. This time he's gonna uh, not come in. He's gonna allow a yin space to generate. Maybe I kick him so hard, which does happen. Usually, usually a guy doesn't come back in after that kick. But let's say uh, last one he did, this one he doesn't, okay? So boom, I do the, the kick. I'm gonna close the gap so that I am dynamic. And I'm gonna come in to the double leg takedown, okay? Um, but we're gonna have it a little different than last time. So his weight is coming forward, almost like he's gonna sprawl, okay? So he's, you're gonna feel that, and you're gonna take the front, Inward Kazushi. So he goes, and here he is. So sweet spot, boom. I'm going in the legs. He's, I can feel his weight. So I'm going to take him around me. Boom. 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 And I feel his weight. Go. That's it. Feel his weight. Sorry, my fault. Afterwards, I'm interested in boom, this part here where I'm moving. Dude, last time you gave me an immediate. Give me an immediate. So this foot goes from the kick forward. Boom. Into Chico. This time, let's control our uh, landing, all right? So again, working on these transitions, okay? So he goes, I do get a drill on the sweet spot, and then I'm working the same sweet spot in. So this time I'm going to stay with him. Boom, in, boom. Stay with him, and I'll go right to the side control. Okay, this time landing counts. 